So a rather large worksheet here on acids and bases. That's acid and base material in GCSE in year 12 and in year 13, hence the size of it. So I'm going to run through some parts relatively quickly because there is quite a bit of rep repetition there and also some fairly fundamental ideas that shouldn't need dwelling on. I am also, of course, as you might have seen from the movies, going to be discussing ways in which the traditional A-level shortcuts are inappropriate at times and so providing you with a much more general way to think about certain things. But anyway, start off with foundation. Which following not a strong acid and aqueous solution, you either know it or you don't. HF is the classic cliched example of this type of question. HCl, HBr, HI, HNO3, H2SO4 and HClO4 are the six. Which following statements about strong acids is true. All strong acids have hydrogen atoms bonded to oxygen atoms. Well, we just talked about three that don't, HCl, HBr and HI. For the same initial concentration, strong acids produce solutions with a higher pH. Well, of course, strong acids completely dissociate, so they have a higher H plus concentration than the weak acids, which only partially dissociate. But pH is inversely related to H plus, so therefore higher H plus, lower pH. Conjugate base of a strong acid is a strong base? Absolutely not um, acid and base strengths with the conjugates are inversely related. So the stronger an acid, the weaker the base. So a strong acid has a very, very, very weak conjugate base. Strong acids are concentrated acids. Um, there's absolutely no relationship between strength and concentration. Concentration is how much you have dissolved. Strength is associated with the extent of dissociation. So 0.001 molar HCl so strong, as we say. So in other words, all four of those statements are total hogwash. So E is the correct answer here. pH 0.015 molar solution HNO3. You need to recognize HNO3 as a strong acid. Completely dissociates, so the concentration of H plus is 0.0015. pH is minus the log of H plus, so therefore minus the log 0.0015 or 2.82. So the two solutions of HCl, strong acid, one has a pH of 3, the other has a pH of 5. Compared to the pH 3, the pH 5 solution has, and these are comparisons of the H plus concentrations and the actual answers. So pH is minus the log of H plus. So pH of 3, that means the log of H plus is minus 3, or in other words, the H plus is the 10 to the power of minus 3, 1 times 10 to the minus 3. So the pH solution, H plus, 1 times 10 to the minus 3. pH of 5, same calculations, pop it in. Concentration of H plus, 1 times 10 to the minus 5. So the pH of 3 has more H plus than the pH of 5. They are a hundredfold different, 10 to the power of 2 different. Thus, the correct statement is for the pH of 5 compared to the pH of 3, it has a hundred times lower the H plus. Difference of 2 in the pH is a difference in 10 to the 2 in terms of the H plus concentration. Now we've got a weak acid. Okay, nitrous acid, HNO2. I believe certain A-level call this nitric 3 acid, which is pooey. The entire world calls it nitrous acid. And of course, you see this in organic. This is a very important um, species uh, for reacting with amines. But anyway, um, we know that it's a weak acid because we're told it's Ka value, 4 times 10 to the minus 4. So that means that it is going to partially dissociate into H+, and of course its conjugate base NO2-. But it's a very small Ka value, less than 1, and if it's less than 1, that means that there's more reactants than products. Because it is quite a bit less than 1, there's much more reactants than products. So therefore, the species in a solution, HNO2, will be the predominant species. Most of it will be in that form, but some H plus and NO2 minus exist. Following pKa values, which is the strongest acid, well, as Ka goes up, the acid strength goes up. So therefore, the strongest acid is the one with the biggest Ka. However, 
pKa is minus the log, and that minus in front of the log changes the trend. So what that means is that the Strauss Ka goes up, the pKa goes down. Okay, so put both those together. As the acid strength goes up, the pKa goes down. In other words, the strongest acid is the one with the smallest pKa, which is 0.77. So 0.77, this is the strongest acid, then HNO2, then HF, and then HBRO, and then the weakest acid here, HCN, because the pKa is the biggest, which means the Ka is the smallest. Okay, remember, as soon as you stick a P in front of something, it flips the trends, it flips the relationships. We'll see that several times as we're going through all of these questions.